أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The reminder for myself always Sufi practices are based on the reality of energy and energy its core is based on sound the sound in which we emanate the sound in which we vibrate the sound in which we exist will then determine the quality of our life and our form and everything that comes to us based on that light. If the sound in life that we emanate through hearing and actions lowers, then the light in which we emanate lowers. So every form breaks down to the atoms, the molecules and nur which they call quantum. And then they found that this light is actually energy and the source of all energy is sound, what they call string theory. This is just trying to explain when Allah is saying, Yusabihu wa bihamdi. Verily everything is in my Divinely praise. That praise, if it's magnified and glorified, it has a direct change into our resonance, the form in which we emanate. If the praise is down, the sound is down, you find the person begin to warp. They become sick, they become diseased. As soon as they emanate at a low frequency, every type of negative energy enters into them. So that to change them, to manipulate them until ultimately to destroy. In our life we are continuously collecting, collecting, collecting until all these burdens become so heavy that they move us towards negativity in life and making the wrong choices in life. They influence our choices and our being. Negative sound, its ultimate target is to destroy the human being and the, the human reality that God has given. So that every spiritual community and most spiritual practices, their core is based on sound. So that too resonate at an angelic frequency. praising Divine Presence, by praising the prophetic reality, by praising, 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 you find that your energy is changing. By the presence of these masters also the frequency that begin to vibrate out can begin to heat the energy of people. When they begin to feel heated it means there's a change happening from within the core of their being. When these Divinely lights come they push away all negativity. That's why the chanting circles are like showers, they clean you. We're coming to be cleaned and to be washed. We come with all these difficulties, all these burdens, all the enmity and envy of other people because we not only collect our own garbage but you collect every garbage of everyone you come across depending upon 
the people you are surrounded by, are they higher or lower frequency than you? If they're lower frequency than you, then definitely all the negative charge is moving toward you. This is all religion simplified in energy. The whole purpose of our being resonates at a higher. Praise the Divinely Presence so that the angels and the Divinely Light can begin to emanate. When it emanates, it pushes away all the negativity, it pushes away all the burdens and you're guaranteed to live feeling light. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 Triple A Realty. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. God Almighty wanted for us to be a perfected star. This star is based on two triangles, one triangle up and one triangle down. The chest and breast area is like a line that makes from one, two to the uppermost point is the triangle of the soul and the upper triangle. The two points, one, two, and to the downer lower part of the body is the lower triangle. Triangle consists of 360 degree angles. In Arabic we don't have a zero, we have a nukht. So in reality it's actually six, six, six. And Many people understand that number and many people are wondering what that is. The lower triangle is the only thing that people are involving themselves in and they're not taking an effort to open the higher triangle, the triangle of the soul. The lower triangle, it's bred for your material desire, you're made of an ignorance. And then into the heart, if you're ignorant, it's going to be anger. If you're anger in the heart, what will come from your body part, from between your two legs is only fire.
So ignorance makes anger. Anger and ignorance is only fight. And that's all that this material world is interested in. This world is based on making people to be ignorant. If you're ignorant about your reality and you're ignorant about your Lord and you're ignorant about your soul, it has been accomplished. It's like a blindness. You don't know anything, I don't know, I don't know why I'm even here, why am I created, what do I have? I don't, have, I don't know if I have a soul, I don't have a soul. If it's in that condition, definitely ignorant. Their whole understanding is just a dark cave. If you put anybody into darkness, of course their heart is going to be angry. Because if I turn the lights off now and fill this room with obstacles and say, well, it's going to be dark, now walk around. The first wall you hit, you're going to be very angry. What the heck is this? Then you hit another wall, how? So what is this? So ignorance, it breeds anger. Ignorance breeds anger. As a result, the devil, negative energy, whatever you want to call, what's happening. Keep people to be ignorant about their reality, just buy, 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 buy and think of this world as everything. And that's the only thing and then when you die you go into a dark hole, into the abyss. So if you're ignorant and live a life of ignorance and we're not trying to pursue who we are and what our purpose and what our reality, no doubt the fire will begin to grow within the heart. If the fire grows within the heart, that heart is dying or if not dead. This is our physiology. It doesn't have to be religious dogma, so or no, no, this is the physiology of our being. Nas Window Blinds offers high quality custom window coverings for both residential and commercial projects. We offer a stunning range of colors and design options. We also provide an on-site measurement and style consultation so that you can be sure you're getting the very best option for your windows. Let us enrich the look, feel and value of your space with custom window coverings. Call Nas Blinds today. Almost 150,000 Canadians a year will use a homeless shelter. These people need food, clothing and access to basic hygiene. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy. We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives. For more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com.
God dispenses spiritual people to teach your reality. Your upper triangle will come to liberate the physicality. The upper triangle has to do with the upper part of your body where God has put your heart. The reality of the heart and all the spiritual practices that come for the heart. If all the practices you're doing is for your body, what are you going to do when your body doesn't work anymore? Find something that teaches you about your soul. Find a discipline that you accept that accommodates a good character. Illuminate and give hope to your being and find out what is the reality of the soul. If my soul is energy, can energy be destroyed? In school they teach you. That's it. If you want to know what God is and what the soul is, God created the soul as an energy. Can energy be destroyed? Impossible. Can your body be destroyed? Most definitely. Body goes into the dirt. Your soul, it's energy. It's free from the body. That was E equals MC squared. The mass goes. What's left from your mass is an energy with two lights. Either you have a fiery light or a divinely light. That's going to be the equation of your E. If you've built your life to be a fiery light, your energy is of a fiery nature and it will go without gravity towards the fire. Right into the fire, right into the, the abyss of fire. But if your light was of a divinely light, purified light, the realities of the soul, then when the mass is gone, what happens? Your soul becomes a divinely light, higher frequency and goes back into that ocean of what God has created of divinely lights. So it means that there has to be a knowledge I seek in my life about my soul. What is my soul? How do, I, how do I feed my soul? If my soul is energy, how are you feeding your soul? Are you chanting? Are you breathing? Are you practicing and giving your soul food? Or only you give your body food? So then there must be disciplines for the soul. That's the importance of the chanting. That's the importance of breathing. Everything that gives your soul an energy, when you feel depressed, you go to the ocean and just breathe. And breathe and think about the Creator, breathe and praise the Creator, thank you, thank you, thank you. In whatever language you want to praise, you praise and you find that your soul is leaving ignorance and now entering into its knowledge of itself. The study of light, the reality of light. What is my quantum reality? Everything around us is light. How do I nourish that light? Isn't its nourishment in its resonance? There must be a resonance in which you make and it feeds the energy in which you emanate. Because as soon as you thought about light and you recognize the reality of the soul, you're not in the dark. As soon as you seek it out, God begins to emanate a light into the heart, a light into the heart. That light of faith begins to blossom within the heart. Leave it for God to begin to illuminate and send more. So then faith, because now you have knowledge of your soul, it conquers anger. You're illuminated. You begin to see what people don't see. You understand what people don't understand. The illuminated heart puts away anger. And with your spiritual training, spiritual practices, you should begin to be lower and lower, lower amount of anger till you are devoid of anger. If you're illuminating and it's your heart is filled with love and filled with light, no doubt now you're reaching perfection.
your soul will begin to come, it conquers the two, it takes away ignorance, it takes away anger of the fire and extinguishes the fire of all bad desire, bad character. And that's what it was meant to be a star. When Prophet described my companions, they're all like stars. He's a star maker. It wasn't symbolic. It wasn't only just, no, no, he's just giving an example. No, I taught them the reality, how to perfect their upper reality to conquer all their lower reality. And that was the great struggle. The struggle against oneself is the greatest battle that one can enter. It's to come against the bad character and bad desire. That upper triangle will conquer and begin to extinguish all the lower desires. Subhanarabhika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifun Wa Salaamu Na Mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bahurmati Muhammad Al-Mustafa Wa Basir Rasul Al-Fatiha